Hello once again, TextD21 here with my trusty Samsung Genio slide. This is now the fourth video in the series, so much I've now made a playlist for them, so they're all in one place ready for you to view. Um, really happy to help, thank you for all the questions again. I'm going to answer three more in this video, and they all came from my last video. So, I'm going to cover uh, AC Chambers 9 asked about how the um, phone locks itself, and again, there are many ways that you can lock it and unlock it, so I'll show you that. The main reason for this is, um, you know who you are, it's go get, go get ask J4, I don't know, <laughs> but yes, you asked um, how you do wallpapers and themes, so I'll show you that on here as well. And someone else, I said Bunny Wabbit on the loose, love that name, says what type of memory card do you need for the phone, and I realise I haven't actually mentioned that yet. So. That's what I'm going to cover in today's video. So we've got wallpapers, when they bother to change. There we go. So we've got wallpapers, memory card, and how to lock the phone. And let's completely ignore the fact that it's Friday the 13th. Let's begin. As you well know by now, this phone has three home screens which means there are three different wallpapers. And, believe it or not, there are three different ways to change the wallpapers. The first one happens here right on the home screen. If you open up the widget toolbar, which you can do by either pressing the arrow or by tapping any empty area of the screen, one of the apps should be this rectangle with two arrows either side. That is the pictures widget. So drag it out and you've got a picture. Basically, simple as Scroll using the left and right arrow keys to find a picture on your phone. And then when you're happy with it, so say this one, this is one of the default pictures. So say, okay, I want to use this one. You press the little tick down here. And there we go. That is now your wallpaper. So you just scroll through, try and find your picture. It's also a link to my files. So you just scroll through using the arrows, which I must say are actually quite small. So you go through default pictures and things to also say the Brainiac one I'm going to go back to that there we go, it's now my wallpaper so that's one way to do it, however if you want to do this on another um, home page, you have to drag the widget back into the widget toolbar slide across and then bring it out again so that's the first way to do this the second way if you go into menu my files images and then going through your memory card or your phone, go through, find an image that you want to use. You go down here to more, set as, wallpaper. Now from here you can rotate the image, you can zoom in and out. So let's see, we'll have that. So you can change it around however you want and then set it as your wallpaper. So now, that's my wallpaper again. The third way to change it is to go to Menu, Settings, Display and Light, Wallpaper, and again, find your picture, there you go, and scroll across, find a picture, and press Set, same as before. So that is how you change the wallpaper. But how do you change the theme? Right underneath it, luckily, it says My Theme. There are a total of five themes on this phone. As you can see, I'm currently using the green theme. I'll show you here. Basically, black is the one I had in videos one and two. Green is a variation of that. It's quite a nice green. It's not exactly vivid, and it's not exactly dull, a bit like this. But it's nice. You've got a red one, which looks more orange, I think. It's quite a warm color, so I'd say it's more orangey red. You've also got this one called Cartoon, which is quite bland. They've also got graffiti, which is a bit more exciting. But the main things that these themes change are the wallpapers, if you let it, and the main menu. So I'll show you. You've seen the menu on black, green, and red. So let's show you cartoon. So I don't want to change the wallpapers. There you go. So it's now on cartoon theme. So for a start, these are all different. So they highlight a different colour. And I go to the menu, and it's completely different. You've now got a, a red-haired bloke with glasses coming in, and all the icons have changed. They stay in the same location, though, so if you've moved them all around, they will stay as they are. 
as you can see they are all well cartoony so if I were to go to say Wi-Fi he now pulls the handle which to be truly honest in my opinion gets more annoying than anything else so if I show you graffiti there we go again the icons have all changed it's I like this to be honest and also when you press but, mm, it's quite tricky to show actually but try this actually I'll use a stylus can you see there it's like a graffiti sort of piece of paint there so again so they are the themes and um, yeah FYI the phone doesn't come with a stylus I don't think you actually need a stylus to use the phone uh, it's just in some of the games I've found it's very difficult to press some of the buttons so I got that from an electronic organizer I used to have you can buy a stylus for the phone however but to be honest it's not worth it so that is how you change the wallpapers and the themes. Now, Bunny Wabbit on the Loose, sorry, I love that name, uh, asked about the memory card. This phone takes um, a micro SD card or micro SDHC card up to 16 gigabytes. Now, I'll show you where it actually is. On the back, you've got the cases, and it comes with three different cases, which you can see in other videos. But I'll just take the case off, there we go. So here you've got your battery, you've got uh, underneath that is the SIM card, and here is your micro SD card slot. So I won't take it out because there's a chance it may corrupt. But yeah, so basically that's where your up to 16 gigabyte memory card goes in. Um, as far as I understand, it doesn't come with a memory card. However, I have seen videos where it comes with a, a gigabyte or two gigabyte memory card and an adapter from Samsung. Um, I didn't get one, but then again that might be because I'm on Tesco. If you get it with Vodafone or SIM free, I don't know. Um, but they are very cheap. I mean, micro SD cards are actually the cheapest memory card out there. Now finally in this video, AC Chambers 9 asked about how does the phone lock itself. You can set it to lock itself, however I use the lock button here on the side. You press that, wherever you are, it locks and it will lock it to your wallpaper image. If you're in the middle of a game or in the middle of internet browsing and you lock it, it will look like that, but when you unlock it, it will go straight back to your home. So think about like, you know, putting your computer in standby. To unlock the phone, you either hold down this icon here, or you hold down the lock key. Just like this. When you first get the phone, this may happen. You'll lock the phone. It locks, and then the screen will go out, or the backlight, I should say, will go out. Right, obviously the screen won't work. However, I'm pressing the buttons, nothing's happening. That's because when you first get the phone, it's likely the setting has been made so that the screen will only come back on if you press the lock key. Now you have to hold it down. Which, yes, is a tad annoying. To change this, go to Menu, Settings, scroll down to Touch Panel. And then here, backlight on, it's on lock key only, change it to any key. So now when you press any of these keys, so you've got volume, the three here, and lock key, you press any of those, and even camera, any of those, and the backlight will come on. Just a lot easier. You can also auto lock it, so when the screen dims, it can lock itself automatically if you want to. There's a feature on here called Smart Unlock, where you use gestures to unlock the phone. So say, you know, I want so instead of holding down the buttons, I want to write the letter A to unlock my phone. You've got a choice here from A to I. Unfortunately this is, these are the only letters you can use. So say okay, if I want to unlock A. Um, and then you can set it to so speed dial. If I want to find out my credit without unlocking the phone, I'll write the letter C. And let's see, um, if I want to open up some music I would write the letter M but unfortunately that's not available but here I've got set if I wanted to find music I'll write the letter F I'll do another one if I want to find Wi-Fi I'll go to I for internet so I'll save that I'll show you how this works when you lock it it now says phone locked press and hold the lock icon or draw character to unlock so just so you can see it clearer I'm going to use the stylus so if I were to draw, oh sorry, if I were to draw the letter C, unlocked, and it's also calling for my credit. Apparently I have that much credit. 
but it also unlocks. If I want to just unlock the phone, I'll write the letter A. Just like that. If I want to find music, I'll write the letter F. Yes. And if I want to go to Wi-Fi, do a capital letter I. And there we go. So, yes, you can lock the phone, and there are many ways of doing it. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to keep updated, you know what you've got to do. Go to my YouTube channel, so here I've got it on my phone, and subscribe, comment, rate, whatever you want to do. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Keep the questions and comments coming in, and you never know, there may be a fifth video on the horizon. Anyone like me who's getting their A level results next week, I'm getting my AS results next week, but anyone's getting exam results over the next couple of weeks, good luck, hope you get what you wanted. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.